I have a Honda Generator EU7000 is which can put out 60 amps at 220 volts which I'm asking my electrician to wire to my house panel. 1. A month ago when we had a power loss from a storm, I bought 2 plus 100 foot. 10 thirds SJDW extension cord with lighted plug to utilize 110 volts lines coming into the house. Can we use those two together to carry power from the 60 amp plug on the generator to the house panel? Hello and welcome to Just Answer. My name is and I will be happy to assist you with your electrical question. 1. There is no 60 amp receptacle on this model. Only a quantity of 2, 230 amp receptacles and 2, 220 amp receptacles. 130 amp receptacle is for 120 volts only and the other 30 amp is for a combo of 120 and 240 volts. 2. If back feeding to the house panel, only the 30 amp 120 240 volt receptacle will be used. This will require a 4 wire cord. E. 2 hots, 1 neutral and 1 equipment ground. You will also require a 30 amp power inlet and a transfer switch or an interlock kit installed at the main panel. 3. What is the approximate distance from the generator to the house? 1. Right there is a switch that allows both 120 and 240. The 4 wire plug I thought, with the proper heavy duty wire, carry the 240 volt power and be available as 60 amps which I thought I saw somewhere on the machine. 2. Right, I follow you. 3. Close to 80 feet including horizontal and vertical travel from the garage to the house panel. Thanks for the replies. 1. 10 AWG copper conductors will be fine for the 80 foot distance. 2. You will need a 4 prong twist lock Hubble plug to connect to the 120-240 volt generator receptacle. 3. You will only have 30 amps available and not 60 amps. There is no 60 amp receptacle on this generator. The 30 amp Hubble twist plug will carry both 120 and 240 volts to the main panel 4. You will also require a 30 amp double pole breaker at the main electrical panel. I'll skip the phone call, here's the link to the extension cords I bought for the emergency that I'm hoping to utilize, together somehow, to carry the 220 volt current. http colon slash www.homodepo.com slash p slash 100 foot 10 3 sjdw extension cord with lighted plug 757-103100-RL6A slash 20537776161. I thought I saw somewhere that this machine could in the 240 V old position produce 60 amps. That not true. 1. That is the wrong cord. It is only rated for 120 volts and is only a 3 prong cord. 2. You will need a 30 amp NEMA rated 14 to 30 male to female cord from the generator to a 30 amp power inlet. Then hard wire the 4 conductor circuit from the power inlet directly to the main panel. 3. The generator specs are 58 amps when under surge power of 7000 watts and only using 120 volts. 7120 equals 58.3 amps. The running watts are 5500. 5540 equals 22.9 amps. For your application, you will only plug into the right most 30 amp receptacle to back feed to the panel. Well I just searched throughout the PDF for the machine and couldn't find any reference to it putting out 60 amps. It must have been part of a dream of mine. 1. You're right. I thought the two 120 volt 3 prong cords together with the proper receptacle on each end could together work as the 4 wire 30 amp wire. 2. If my hope of using the $267 of two extension cords are gone, I'll accept it. Sorry, comma, dot just trying. 
3. Otherwise I think you've given me enough information to discuss this with the electrician. Any other parting thoughts? 1. Return the cord to the depot as it is the wrong cord and can't be used on a 240 volt circuit. The cord is rated for 120 volts only and is a 3 prong cord. You need a gen cord shown in the link below, http colon slash www.hamadepot.com slash p slash generac 10 foot 30 amp generator cord 6327 one no, back feeding a panel only allows the use of the 30 amp combo 120-240 volt gen set receptacle to the electrical panel. If you have any additional questions, just let me know and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Otherwise, don't forget to rate me before you log off. Thanks. Kevin my electrician suggested I return it, but we used the two for the four days we were without power, and I feel it's wrong for me to return it. They provided it during my need and emergency. I am 100% satisfied. Thank you for your patience in dealing with a non-electrician. Kevin. The only bonus options are 15%. $1, 25%, I thought your patience and information was worth $10. Do I have to and can I click it five times? The company should have a spot where the customer could enter another figure. Let me know if I have to go to the company with that thought. 1. Return the cord to the depot. Don't feel bad as I'm sure you have spent much money at Home Depot over the years. Thank you for the positive service rating. Much appreciated. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Take care and have a great day. Thanks again. Kevin. Not sure if there is an option for a different dollar amount? Unfortunately, I only answer questions here and I have never created a question here to another expert. I'm calling just answer for this resolution. Thanks. You are appreciated. 1. Unfortunately, I've never seen the screen on the customer end, so I don't know how the customer chooses the bonus amount. I'm in the same boat. 1. Don't worry about the bonus. All is good. No problem, glad to have assisted. Take care and thanks again. Kevin. I'm in the same boat. I haven't seen what the potential buyers and tenants see when they answer our questions through our website, but this. The other amount. Someone should have thought about. I'm on hold with just answer. The customer service person is finding out how to let the web page managers know about this. I thought that the customer just clicks on a percentage amount. Although, I have had a few questions where customers were able to provide a larger amount, but that was a few years ago. Not sure if just answer modified the web pages or not. I thought I had more latitude years ago. But since I only go online to your site anywhere from one to three times in a two-month period, I may have missed the change. Anyway, I made my comment in the part where you can write comments. Hopefully someone reads it. Have a blessed forever. Yes, I understand that. The website has undergone many changes in recent years. It is possible that they no longer allow a set dollar amount. I'm not sure. No problem though, we are all good. The bonus is not necessary and I was glad that I was able to assist and answer your questions. Take care and have a great day. Kevin 
Okay, the bonus just came through. Much appreciated. Thanks again. Kevin. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.